Alright. Good day, Danu friends, and welcome back to Lego Fortnite. Uh, a lot has happened since the last video. Um, first of all, the sec the last video was supposed to be to have a second half. But it got corrupted or something, so I tried a bunch of things. I tried like two days to upload it. Even though it was supposed to be easy, it was supposed to be a one take recording and then i can upload it i'm doing this because it's supposed to be easy so i can get more videos out and it took like it got corrupted and i had to took like two days to upload so hopefully that won't happen this time uh so basically what happened is um i spent a lot of time collecting stuff um in after the end you saw at the end of the last video, I died with the uh, totem of undying. Luckily, I had a second life. Then I spent a lot of time collecting stuff, trying to stay safe. But of course, I'm not good at that. Then I got one of those little... Um, well, if you know... If you play LEGO, you know it. It's like a little Star Wars floating guy. It looks like a floating head, honestly. But it's supposed to be a robot, I think. And you follow it and it leads you to treasure. But sometimes there's like guards around the treasure... And, of course, there were guards around the treasure, and they hit a lot. So that's how I died. And then I remade the world, and here we are. So we're actually already on our second try. Um, this time I took it really careful. I spent a bunch of time uh, getting over to the Star Wars village. And I still have my first totem of undying on this one. And... I I was like, what can I do while I'm waiting to record the next video? What should I do in between? So I got a little farm going. This is obviously not a real base. But I just put some stuff right next to the Star Wars town that I'm going to build. And I spent a lot of time collecting uh, specifically a lot of wood. I was like, I'm probably going to need tons of wood. Whenever you start a new world, you're going to need a lot of wood. So let's already take a bunch of wood and some stone, actually. Um... And let's just get started. In this episode, let's see if we can get a town. Um, apparently, you need to get one town up to level 5. The Star Wars town to level 5. Then you get a lightsaber for free. And I totally forgot that's even a thing. I thought you had to go into the dangerous cave to get the lightsaber. And I wasn't even going to try. Because I will die and it's hardcore mode and I don't want to die. So that's why I wasn't even going to try getting a lightsaber until a video that I watched reminded me like, yeah, you can, you get your first lightsaber for free if you get the Star Wars Village to level, well, it was five or six. So let's see how far we can get in this video. Um, hopefully, maybe I already have enough stuff. I'm going to assume not because in order to make a lot of the Star Wars stuff, you also need plastoid. I don't know what, what, what. I guess it's... I always call it plastic, but it's plastoid, which is a Lego-specific thing. Uh, which is a Star Wars-specific thing for Star Wars builds. And I have zero, I think. Or almost zero. And it's dropped by the Star Wars guys, so it looks like I'm going to need to fight a bunch of Star Wars guys. But I did watch more tutorials on, like, what's the best way to do all of these challenges. And it looks like you need to defeat all of the three brutes, as I talked about in the last video. You need to defeat all the three brutes on hardcore, the hardcore specific purpley glowy ones. Apparently it's called like Storm Sick, but that's a boring name. So I'm going to call them something else. I don't know, hardcore mode version. Um, but also you need to level up a town to the maximum tier, which is 10. In every biome. And I asked a YouTuber, I said, does it count if you level up the Star Wars town to level 10? Does it count as the grasslands? Because right now we're in the grasslands. Does that count as a regular level 10 grasslands town? And they said, I think so. So I hope that's true. Wait, where did I just place that? Did I place that correct? Oh, I think I did. I think I did. So I hope that's true. There we go. It's really nice not to worry about the materials. <laughs> also, I'm about to hit level 100 this season. That's why I hit recording now. I was about to hit level 100. So that might uh, happen during this video. All right. What next? Oh, you want a bed? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I knew she was going to say bed. Um, I don't have planks. Do I need planks or just wood? Okay. I'll just place like a bunch of beds right away. Because we're probably going to get a bunch... 
I mean, I have already. This is like my third or fourth Star Wars village that I've made. I think at the end you have maybe like seven people in it, so let's get a bunch of beds. All right, you happy now? Okay. Um, can we level it up already? Oh, we need five pumpkins. Uh, they grow around, or maybe I already had some. Because I did play a little bit before recording this, of course. Um, I have two only. Okay, let's see if we can get three more. I thought... Well, the first time I played, I saw them growing here. But I think that there's little differences every time you play. So that's going to be funny. Every time I die... Uh, and yes, obviously, I'm not expecting to now not die at all. Obviously, I'm going to die a bunch more times. Uh, but every time you die, you come back. Basically, it's a different seat, just like in Minecraft. But the Star Wars part of the map is the same, this part. So I know it quite well, except there's always little differences. There's some parts that aren't set in stone, such as where certain um, things are. For instance, this village, by the way, is every time I've played it, it's been rotated. <laughs> like, the first time... That building was in that side, and later it was on that side. I think I've had it in every direction at this point. All four directions. Uh, let's see. Also, I've been testing in creative mode, like, what respawns and what doesn't. Like, these birch trees, they always respawn. If you chop them down, you can chop them down as much as you want. They will always come back. Same with cypress trees. Um, I don't know about the other trees. It seems like the oak trees or whatever they are, the regular trees, they only come back if you leave the base, the base of the trunk, after you chop them down. And I don't know about other things. I've seen animals respawn, so I'm pretty sure those respawn. Oh, we got a new villager. What is the farming one? Oh, I should take my, uh, my little farming stuff and just put it inside of the village. Yeah. Wait, did I get a seat back? Oh, that's not good. Okay, I got at least one of those seats back. Do I have another another snowberry seed? Uh oh. <laughs> Welp! There goes my source for snow er, snowberries. Snowberries are pretty good, actually. They heal quite a lot. Or, well, no, they, they heal only too hard, but they heal it quite fast. That's what I mean. It's quite fast. Oh, well. Guess we'll find a seat again later. Should I just put the farm like right here, just in the middle of the town? Oh, it's not letting me put it that close. Okay, I'll put, uh, let's see, I'll just put a bit here. Okay, well, at least we can farm some pepper. You're gonna do, wait, this is the red guy. Did we just have the gray guy? Did we get, oh, we got both of them. I think they're both farmers. Okay, cool. Um, what else do I need to level up again? Do, 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 do. I just need a, a crafting bench and a short sword. But it's gonna take the swords, which is not nice. Like it's saying you already have two swords, which is correct, because I need them for fighting. So I don't wanna... I don't wanna give them up. Luckily, as you might be able to tell... I've saved up a bunch of uh, wooden rods and everything. I was like, I'm not going to record and do all of that while I'm recording. Okay, there we go. Five swords. Um, three for the village. Uh, two for me. And then a crafting bench. I can simply break it and just rebuild it. Inside the border. So if you don't know, if you just build anything, if you just look, you can just see where the border is. So I put everything right outside the border of the village. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crafting bench, does it matter? I don't want to put it inside anywhere. I'll just put it here for now. Terrible, terrible spot. <laughs> terrible spot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes. And it did take my broken sword before my healed sword. It, so that's good. I was hoping for that. Also, every time you have to clear an area before you can build there. But I also went out of my way. Yes, I had a lot of time. I also went out of my way to just already clear everything. So now we don't have to do that before building anything. Yeah, the only problem we can run into at this point is when it's going to ask for a plastoid. Which might be soon. Oh yeah, this already might. Yep. 
Okay, if you look at the right, it says Rebel Lodge Wall needs one Plastoid. Okay, I don't have any Plastoid, I think. I can check. Maybe I killed a few guys. I don't know. Okay, I now have seven hearts collected. <laughs> so three basic ones, two more from each of these guys, and then two of the bonus hearts from eating the meat. I don't have a lot of meat on my action bar. You can see I have one more. <laughs> so I need to be careful. Oh, I d what? I'm sorry. When did I get this much plastoid? Okay, this is because I recorded that two days ago. I guess I already forgot because I have the worst flippant memory in the world. Okay, I guess we do have Plastoid. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about lying to you. We have plenty of Plastoid, apparently. And I didn't know. Like, I genuinely thought we had none. Okay, sweet. Maybe we might be able to actually get to level 5 in this video. That would be awesome. Okay, so let's see. Put you there. Speedrun this. Also, I didn't even comment on this, but yeah, I have a different skin today. I decided, you know what, why not just sort of go through the different dino-themed skins that I have? We should just go through the different dino-themed skins every time. So I literally rolled the die, and I have seven dino skins, and I have a, an eight-sided die. Oh. Oh, I need way more planks. Okay, let's uh, turn one of my stacks of logs into planks. I have an eight-sided die. And I rolled eight first. So it didn't roll on one to seven, which were the dino skins. So let me know what you think I should do when I roll eight. I kind of was considering just putting on a random skin, a non-dino one. But I thought maybe people would be confused. So then I decided, okay, I'll roll again. And then I rolled... I think three. I think this guy was number three on the list. Okay, well, the planks are coming in. Um, how many do I need? Okay, that's enough planks for this part. Up there. Okay, this is where I go a bit out of the system and I just build a <laughs> I build some stairs because building the roof is annoying from the floor. So yeah, just building some stairs there. Personally, I really love that you get all of your materials back when you break something. Unless if they change that and I'm wrong, I could I could be wrong about that. Maybe they nerfed that, but I hope not. I think that's actually really nice. It really creates this freedom when you build anything. You just get all your materials back. If you change your mind, you want to break it again and build it somewhere else. I, I, I don't know. I feel like it gives so much freedom. Like most survival games I've ever played, always you always lose some materials when you break something and... It's like, I guess it's like a penalty. I mean, I guess there's some realism in there. But it's like a penalty on building stuff. And it does take away a bit of freedom, I feel. And I don't know. I, I find it refreshing. That you get all of your materials back. God, I hope I'm not wrong about that. Otherwise, this is... This is awkward. <laughs> there we go. I, uh... My pickaxe? No! Could have just punched the whole thing. Oh, wait, why do I have so many tools? Usually I only bring one back up. Okay, let's see. Feathered friends. Craft barns? One. Craft one barns. Okay, we need some more planks. Luckily we were making those already. Oh yeah, this was the only thing I couldn't clear. It's the only thing that can, can't be broken with a basic pickaxe. <laughs> Guess I need a higher tier pickaxe for that. Um, a barn, which... I mean, you can put it wherever you want, but I think the main goal, or the ma you're intended to put it, like, sort of in here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, ha. 
We meet again at last. Great work. Take this gift. Thank you so much. What did I get? <gasps> Yo, I got seeds. Oh, and I got some plastoid as well. That's great. Thought she were going. To, she was going to give me an animal food so I could tame it and put it in there. Oh, now she gives that to me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't. Wrong. There we go. An animal treat. Okay, what should we get? I would say leave it in the comments, but I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna get what's closest. Looks like it's a cow. Oh, they do spawn in threes. Like, I was thinking about this uh, right before recording. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen animals spawn in anything but um, in twos. So I thought they just always spawn in two. Here you go. No, 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 no. So far, I don't have great experience with uh, animals in uh, farm animals in lego fortnite because they keep disappearing and i don't know what happens every time i just i just get a cow you, you'll see next episode she's just gonna be gone <laughs> all right let's see what name will we give her smoochy that's hilarious yep you're smoochy now <laughs> i like the random name giver oi What's up? Give me, give me stuff. Is he farming yet? I don't know. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I need to kill ten stormtroopers. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna look for stormtroopers. I think I'll pause the recording. Look for some stormtroopers. I really want to get to level uh, five village, tier five village in this video. But it's gonna. Uh, it usually takes me a while to find them. I think this time there is a rebel vil or a rebel. No, we are the rebels. Empire. I don't know. The bad guys village. Yeah, there is one now there. Because I remember in my first video. Um, I don't know if this was in the recording in the part that I cut off or after. But I looked over here and I saw there was no village. That's just one of those things that is random every time. And I was like, oh, there's no village there. No, but now there is. But I don't know if it's a good idea to go there. I mean, I do still have my totem of return. Hmm. All right, I have a full health sword. I have seven hearts. All right, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Wait, there's no one here? Oh, come on, there's someone here. Or is it going to be one of those situations where it's a chest and then when you try to open it, it spawns a bunch of guys? Oh, it's going to be that. It's going to be that. There's a chest and you go like, oh, look, a chest. Oh, my God. I hope there's, uh, I hope there's good stuff in here. Oh, sorry. My annoying voice made it cancel. Oh, what? Oh, my God. It didn't open. Oh, what happened? Oh, my God. Wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. Looks like a lot of them are melee. Those are a lot easier to deal with than the shooty guys. Oh, there's the shooty guy. Oh, God. Oh, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> I'm trying not to get hit. Oh, they're so fast as well. Is that because it's hardcore mode? I guess they're faster in hardcore mode. I'm just going to do a ridiculous amount of dodging. I'm sorry if it gets annoying at any point but it's the only way i'm gonna survive this okay the only way i'm gonna survive is if i do this much dodging and jumping jumping backwards it's it's the only way oh my god there's multiple crossbow ow oh how somehow that didn't hit me two times somehow i got lucky two times okay we only have the crossbow guy ow Ow! I just said we only... I was just gonna say we only have the crossbow guys left and they don't hit that often. But it looks like they can sort of calculate where you're trying to go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that the only one left? It looks like it might be the only one left. Okay. <gasps> their aim is better. Somehow their aim is better when you're moving somehow, it seems. No. And they can also shoot really fast. Is that all? 
surely that was 10, right? I don't know. Did anyone count? <laughs> tell me. Please tell me one of you was counting. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if anyone was counting. I hope that was 10. I'm not entirely sure. I did not count. Um, let's see. We get some stuff from here. Yo, I even get thermal detonators. It's like the most... This is the biggest explosive in the game right now. Ooh, we could use this when we're fighting the brute. And some seeds. I don't need an almost broken pickaxe or... These are all almost broken anyway. Almost broken pickaxe, almost broken... Um, crossbow. Okay, let's eat that other part of meat. To get my two hearts back. Alright! <laughs> I didn't die! Let's go! Is it paused? It's not paused. I, I I was trying to click click pause, but it didn't work. But now it did. Uh, I went back to the village. I sorted all my stuff. And I checked. And guess what? The amount of guys we killed was nine. <laughs> of course. Of course. We need one more. We need one more. It's fine. We're going to get him. And then we're going to get to level five. Let's see if we can get a... A lightsaber in this video. I see another village here. Oh man, I just want to kill one guy. Should we just kill one and then just run for our life? I don't feel like clearing out an entire village and this video is getting pretty long. Hmm. Right, okay. Looks like once again there's no one here. So you know what that means. I'm gonna pretend there's no one until I find the chest. Alright, alright, fine. I'll pretend I'm falling for it. Oh my god, a chest! Can't believe there's a chest here. Completely unguarded. Oh. What? What just happened? I, I, ow! <laughs> oh, yo, this is one of those treasure guys. Wait, you can't come. Uh, how am I gonna deal with the treasure guy? Now I'm missing out on the treasure because I'm trying to loot this village. Oh. Luckily, I brought an extra sword. <laughs> okay, this is the kind of behavior that's gonna save your life, Tommy. Okay, well, that was 10 for sure. Ow! Bro! Where's the treasure guy? Let's just do the treasure guy instead. Okay, zigzag. Zigzag? Follow the treasure guy. I wanna get the treasure. Well, this is how I got killed last time, so I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, I forgot to make more meat, so I get extra hearts. But I did bring my detonator, so if anyone really wants trouble, I'll just throw a detonator at them. Alright, well, there's a giant brute over there. You know, one of those extremely strong guys. I can't go into the cold, I'll die. I can't go there. Okay, well, those treasure guys are a real scam. Okay, I'm just gonna hit pause again and go back to the village, okay? <laughs> No, I didn't click pause, I clicked stop. Oh, now I'm going to have to edit it anyway. Now I'm still going to have to edit it because I'm going to have to glue together these two recordings. Okay, fine. Fine. Guess how... Maybe this is how I get back into editing videos. Maybe this is actually how I get back into videos. I just tell myself I'm going to do a one record... One take recording and just upload those that to YouTube. And then afterwards, I'll just do like, oh, I'm going to fix a little bit. And then every time I edit more and more until I'm back into full-time editing. <laughs> okay, there we go. We killed the nosy bucket heads. That's pretty funny, actually. Nosy bucket heads. Um, so we've defeated 10 stormtroopers. Now I need to get pla plastoid, which I have in the chest. But I also need to upgrade the village comfort level. Uh, I saw someone in a video who did that. Okay, so basically that's just sort of like an overall rating for your village. Uh, I saw someone in a video who did that making just these things, lumber mills, just a ton of them. So let's do that, I guess. If that works, why not? If that works, and then we can just break them afterwards. Because just to be clear, even though the mission is to make three villages, right? One in the grasslands, one in the desert, and one in the ice place. 
I think we can just make one, break it down, take all the materials to the desert, build it up again, <laughs> then break it down again and bring it to the ice place. That's I think that's allowed. <laughs> Actually, let's use this grill. I, I did find some uh, some meat. Do I have any more meat? Maybe. No. Okay. Well. Okay, three meats. That's pretty good, I guess. Um, so I need plastoid and whatever you need to make a lumber mill, which is just wood and granite. How much wood and granite do I have? I banked most of my wood. There we go. All right. Let's see if we get ourselves a lightsaber. This better give us a lightsaber. This was a lot of hard work. Hi, Smoochie. Can I pet Smoochie? There we go. Giving me some uh, milk. All right, where should I put like a bunch of sawmills? I think I'll just put them like right outside the village. I'll just put them like right here. Oh, it looks like at least in the top right it says upgrade available. So it looks like there was already enough. Okay, it looks like the lumber mill is really good for leveling up your village. There we go. Okay. Was it level 5 where you get a lightsaber? Here, take this as a token of my thanks. I'm sure you'll put it to good use. Please be a lightsaber. Please be a lightsaber. What was did anyone see what that was? What did I get? What did I get? No! I got, did I get this? Well, I didn't get a lightsaber, I don't... Uh, do I have a lightsaber? I don't think so, so it's level 6. No! <laughs> Fine. Fine, I guess we'll get... Uh, I guess we'll get it in the next video. Doesn't matter, everyone. Doesn't matter. There's some good news. Uh, at the end of the last video, I stomped. But I forgot that the stompy mode, the official stompy mode in Fortnite, finally got, uh, got a Lego version. So we can just do that one. Okay, check it out, check it out. Stomp. 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 Chomp, chomp, chomp. And a roar. <laughs> I like how all the villagers join in. <laughs> Alright, everyone, don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. Oh, I forgot to say thank you to Green Thunder and Carl for sponsoring this video. Everyone, don't forget stomp like a dinosaur. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp.